All right, we're here in Sutiava, but I'm just walking into Democracy. I'm Scott Allen Miller, and this is my vlog of everyday life in Leon. And uh, today we're doing another walking tour. Today we're exploring the Via Democracia here in Leon. We got to go a little bit to get away from all the loud music, but we're just entering Democracia right now. So we're going to bring you this barrio right after that bump. All right, the main road of Democracia is 13th, which if you follow it south, goes directly to Dr. Coffee in Sutiava. But we're gonna turn and head north. You'll notice that Sutiava sits above Democracia. So Democracia is the low area past Sutiava to the north. So it makes it a very different place. Now we have done very little, if any, exploring of Democracia in the past. So this is a little bit of a new area. We've touched on it, but have not really done an exploration. So this is 13th, which goes right through the middle of the barrio. Buenas. All right, we got a variadatas here, so kind of like a pulperia, but with a lot more stuff, selling clothes and stuff. This area of the city is very green, which is really cool. Check this out, little garden inside there. This one on the right, this is really interesting. Steps up, big trees, garden inside, who knows what's behind. Very cool. Got some cool uh, colored wood up there. The houses feel a little bit high here, like they're built up. Oh, there's a little cottage behind the trees. It really gives a wild feeling here, but we're still in the city. We are close to the northwest corner of the city proper. And technically we're in Sutiava, so I don't even know if you can call it the city proper. Sorry for the sound of my voice. I have bronchitis as I'm doing this, but uh, feeling okay at the moment. This is obviously dirty, but you can imagine how cute this stream would be. If this was clean, oh, there's a cat down there. There's so much potential with cleaning it up to make some of these streams and little waterways in the city into something European and amazing. This is, the, the fencing is missing, so they've replaced it with old bed springs, which is ingenuitive. And again, so much litter or trash because of the storms. But if it was clean, this area would be amazing. All right, we got one of the side streets there. Now we're heading up a hill. Oh, we're welding on the left. I'll try not to look at that. Buenas. As I started this, there was a storm rolling in, but I'm hopeful that we get a light rain and not a big storm. These are some interesting, very steep climbs to houses on the right. Left is mostly walls along here. This is such a different feel than most of the city. It's one of the cool things about barrio life in most countries is that every barrio really does have a different vibe in what nightlife is like, what restaurants is like, but also like houses and streets. Got another little shop there. Oh, not sure what we're looking at. We're gonna pop over here. I've seen pictures from Via Democracia that showed this, and I was like, is this really there? So we got a basketball court here. Ooh, look how dark that sky is. Buenas. Oh, let's not forget to look at the houses, we got, that's a pulperia. Some nice houses along here. This must be 
what you would consider the center square. I'm like, this house in front of us is quite nice. This is a bit of a surprise, given the part of the city that we're in. Really interesting. Buenas. Oh, and this little puppy on a little walkway. Where does that go? Oh, not very far. One more house back there. And then, uh, looks like we can go to the bottom of the square and come across underneath. We'll go check that out. Whew, it is humid. This, uh, I'm in completely bright sun. You're looking at this dark sky, but I'm in sun. I'm gonna flip the camera in a second and let you see what I look like while we're walking into these clouds. It is bright out here, but, uh, and it's humid because the rain is almost here. It did rain maybe an hour ago, probably five minutes. I was worried that I wouldn't be able to come out and record. So far we're doing okay, but a little bit of rain with a ton of sun and incoming storm doesn't do a lot to cool you down. So I'm sweating a bit. But a little sweat never hurt anybody. Buenas! All right. This is not the street we came down, but we'll hop down and go left at the bottom and go back to 13th. How does that sound? Super interesting neighborhood. Very, very quiet. Nice wide sidewalks here. So this is not super common. We have traditional North American style sidewalks, meaning there's a full sidewalk that's unencumbered uh, towards the houses and then a full wide treed area or grassy area uh, against the road. And you'll notice they're everywhere, even on the side streets. That is how the sidewalks are here. So every barrio Buenos has different sidewalks and roads. It's one of the ways you can tell where you are. So those things change dramatically from one neighborhood to another. Oh, this road may not go anywhere. Oh, yes, it does. We get to go through a walkthrough. Very cool. These distant barrios have lots and lots of non-automobile friendly areas. Oh, cute. Buenas. <laughs> cute house of the garden. Very likely an available space here. Buenas. Now Via Democracia is pretty small. Coming back to 13th here. Ooh, hopefully the sun is not blowing out the lens. Sorry about that. Unexpected twists and turns. This is not a not a large barrio or community by any stretch, but an interesting one for sure. And pretty confident that the expat count here is incredibly low. <laughs> Very likely zero. This is one of those spots that nobody knows even the Leonese don't know this area very much. So this is 13th where we were coming down. This is where we would have ended up. Got a cell tower there. Couple of pulperias. I'm not sure what the one is. That might be like a law office or something. The farther one, but I can't really see it. And then we have a historic marker here and a little wooded area. We're gonna pop over and check that out. Ah, okay, 14th of September, 1978. So we just did one where we saw the marker for the combatants who died on the 15th of September, 1978. This is from one day earlier, many fewer on that day. All right, we're heading north again, still on 13th, I hope. And uh, quite a lot of wooded area over here or shrub area. Surprising how much just open space is here. Someone must own this and be unwilling to give it up. There are nice roads up here. Some big, nice trees in the distance. 
This is quite a nice area. Often when a neighborhood has Villa in the name, which is like Villa in Italian, meaning a little neighborhood, obviously Villa means house in Italian, but it's a housing area in Spanish, but pronounced Villa, like road in Italian, very confusing because of the double L situation. Hola. <laughs> and we got a big pulperia here on the right. And then, oh, check out these houses on the left. We're gonna cross over so you can see them. Check these out. Up on the hill, so that's drainage underneath. So there, there's houses built up there. And then this one you can see, they've got an entrance. They really should put stairs here, it'd be really nice. And uh, some really high over the road. I imagine that the other side is that level. And more of this big wall here. That's kind of cool. All right, let's cut through here and see if we can get over. So we're roughly at the north edge of Via Democracia. So I wanna get around and see a bit more of that. Whew. The storm has held off. I'm really impressed at the storm's sense of restraint, I guess. Adio. Oh, this is cool. Look at this little tiny road that goes through. Okay, let's walk this way. Yeah. Okay, I turned onto this road and Ilver here. Adio. Stopped and we talked for probably 30 minutes. And uh, while we were talking, suddenly the storm rolled in. So there is actually a storm, so we are going to get out of here. Uh, but it is at least a bit cooler now and it'll wash me off. So I'm going to spin the camera around and let you guys see where we are in Democracia. And let's get back uh, to the car. All right, here we are. That is where we just came from. Hola! Yeah, Pulperia here, where they're hiding from the rain. Smartly, unlike me, who is out in the rain, trying to figure out how to get home quickly. This is a cute little street, though, that we found. Oh, this is a nicely done house. I really like horizontal modern bars on houses. I think it's really cute. Luckily, this is not a pouring rain yet, but that is the kind of thing you say just before it is a pouring rain. Oh, and of course, now, after I start moving, my watch is like, oh, did you pause your workout? No watch, I'm walking. Hola. There's big yards out here. Cute little garden in there. These are some big spaces. Now I've had multiple people, so this is another street. I'm not gonna walk down it because of the rain, but you can see it goes against that tree line. So that tree line is the end of Democracia. So that helps us understand the neighborhood. Uh, the bronchitis is catching up with me. We got a cute house here on the right. And we got a little park here on the left. Nothing special, just a green space. Nice houses on it. Okay. So this northern part of Democracia is pretty interesting. Oh, here the street goes up a little bit more. Up against the ridge. These are some wide streets. I feel really open. We definitely discovered a nice area. I am liking this. So multiple people pulled me aside and warned me, supposedly, that there's a lot of drugs in this area. Okay, check out this house on the left. How cool is this design? Everything, the way the plants are up front, the curved window stuff, is nice. Then uh, got a farmacia here where you can sit there. It's probably designed to be a restaurant. Ooh, a little bit higher there. Looks like some decent houses up there, but I'm not gonna walk up. And uh, plenty of places to sit here. This house has a little park in front of it. And I'm attempting to find where we are on the map. Oh, foolishly, the roads don't go through here. Okay, so that is the final road down there. And it only goes to the right. So it goes back the way we came from. 
we're not going to do that. Supposedly, there's a hotel, might be that big building right there behind the pharmacia. So we got to go down here, go to the left, cross one street, and then go right. And that should get us back on the 13th. Oh, and cute little places here. Oh, very cute. Check this out. My gosh, that is the first one like that I've seen in Nicaragua. That is so different. That is adorable. What a neat neighborhood. Okay, notice that the street in front of us goes down and turns. Clearly, this is a really cool little, like, housing development. Okay, that one on the corner, look at the bars on it. We're going to come back and do a little bit more in this neighborhood. This area is very cool, has lots of potential, and I don't know what they're talking about with all the people doing drugs. This does not have that vibe at all. Now, I understand Los Jardines in the north, that had that vibe a little bit. I could understand that. Here, doesn't seem likely. We got a doggy here in the street. Oh, I scared him. Scared her. Okay, what do we got here? Got a little shop. They do printing and photocopying. And looks like they sell like office supplies. Oh, a bunch of kitties sleeping in that doorway. I think this is that park that I said. So we're now on the south side of that. This is pretty cool. Got some nice houses here on the right. Coming up on a pulperia. Actually, several shops here in a row. First, this cute red house, the black bars. Then we got this pulperia. I can only imagine that this is like a school or something. I don't know. There's nothing really clear marking it. Then we've got, hola! Got another couple pulperias there and a bank agent. All right, we're gonna cut down one street and go on the, make sure I get this right, the southernmost street of Democracia. It is a small neighborhood, but it is cool. I'm liking it quite a bit. Oh, and this cute doggy. Whoa! Hi! Hey! You thought you were going to surprise me, but you didn't. You didn't. All right, let's go. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. He ran out. He was pretty sure he was going to get the jump on me, and then he didn't. And he was like, oh, oops, what did I do? All right. Hold on, I see messages coming in from the family and I gotta send the messages back. All right, continuing on. Adio. Hello. Oh, I like this cool kind of salmon colored, coral colored house over here. Coral. And then this should be 13th that we're turning on to. Uh, kind of mayhem with motorcycles, bicycles, cars, and dogs, and me walking with a camera all at the same time. Hola! Hola. <laughs> hola. Adio! Hola. All right, we're going to stop in and say hello. hello. Oh, es tortillas! Hola. <laughs> Tengo un canal en YouTube, a Scott Ellen Miller vlog. It's Toro, Toro Videos de Leon. Si. <laughs> Adio. Hola. <laughs> Muchos perros. All right. They are the ones that saw me walking the other way earlier. And uh, they were excited to get to be on the show. All right. All right, we are heading back into Sutiava. 
that was a good walk. Got some good exercise. Filmed some good stuff. I'm glad you guys were able to join us. Thanks for, thanks for sticking around. And of course, if you could like and subscribe, I'd be much appreciated if you want to support the channel. You can buy me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash Scott Allen Miller. That comes directly to me. It's kind of like Patreon. Helps me pay for trips and cameras and computers and all the things that are required to do this show. It takes a surprising amount. I really appreciate when you guys help out with that. It means a lot to me. And uh, it's a nice light rain. It's still raining. I don't know if you can see it. It's very light. These are Raspados coming by. These are the shaved ice that you put condensed milk or pineapple jam on. Hola! Very, very popular around here. And uh, that's about it for me today. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you all tomorrow.